Here we have 10 cliches, what Americans think about Germans. And of course, I'm gonna talk about nudity in here. So stick around to the end, all right? Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Krautsalat. I am Eric, an American living in Germany. Here we will do another list, this time 10 cliches that Americans think about Germans. Number one, Germans live on bratwurst, beer, and potatoes. From what I've seen, their diet is far more extensive than that. But I cannot agree or disagree with this one. There is definitely like a core part of meals. Well, no. Meat and potatoes. A lot of like the hearty meals, like meat and potatoes, that's the basis for a lot. But there's a lot of bread. I think Germans eat a bit more early in the day and they eat less later at night. So I think there's a lot, I would say there's a lot of like soup, soup and bread. <laughs> The bratwurst is definitely a stereotype. That's a cliche. It's very common, but that's something where, yeah, I think you see it more like with public events or you go to the Baumart and there's the little stand outside selling a bratwurst, then you have to have one. I think that's just part of the rule. <laughs> when you go shopping at the Baumart, then you need a bratwurst afterwards. Number two. Germans are unfriendly and distant. Well, at the moment everyone needs to be distant, but Germans I think have a bit of a a bit of a shell. They're not known for casual or small talk, you know, simple conversation. Germans don't like this. So I think this can easily make them seem a bit unfriendly, unapproachable, but get to know some Germans. It is the total opposite. Like I've, I've met some of the most friendly and welcoming, like it's a true, it's a, it's a deeper friendly. So don't judge a book by its cover. That's a great way to describe Germans. Number three, Germans have no sense of humor. Oh, this depends on perception. And I think language, language has a lot to do with that. I think, I think Germans have an awesome sense of humor and they really enjoy laughing. Like it's, they want to have fun. So laughing goes with a sense of humor. Yeah, maybe the sense of humor is a little bit different. I'm not laughing, Mr. Fortune. You're not funny anymore. But there is definitely a sense of humor there. You just have to get to know the people that you're with. People are different in different areas, but Germans definitely have a sense of humor. Sometimes I question it, but it's there. They like to laugh. Number four, all Germans are Nazis. They are not, see, Nazi, they're not so Nazis. Germans are not so Nazi. Oh, this is an ignorant stereotype. Yeah, Hollywood makes all of the bad guys German. Uh, there's, I don't know why. I think it's just easy. The American perception, yeah, with the wars and in the past, yeah, Germans were enemies for such a long time. It's something stupid and it's outdated. Like when I was a kid, um, we used to play cowboys and Indians. You know, it's like there was a period of time where Americans growing up were taught to believe that the Indians were the bad guys which was totally false information. A similar situation occurs with the American perception of Germans because of the past war and Germans are not Nazis because they learned a lot from it and they were able to pick themselves up out of the dust and grow into a better person. So yeah. Unfortunately, there still are some of these people out in the world today, but it's 
you can find them anywhere. In America, in Brazil, you have these. I don't want to get too political with my channel, but I think you know what I mean. Number five, Germans are hardworking and economical. Yes, I agree with this. It's not a bad thing. A lot of Germans will work hard, but they will also play hard. So there's, there's nothing bad about that. Like it, this is very often cliches become a cliche for a reason. Yeah, they do work hard. And because of the fact that they work hard, they understand the value of their money. So therefore they are economical. However, I have seen some opposite to that. I think a lot of Germans are very quick to throw something away and buy something new. I think that's digging into something different, but overall, yes, they are hardworking. They are economical because of the fact that they're hardworking and they know the value of their time, they know the value of their money, and so they are quite smart with that. And that's respect, it's a good thing. Number six, Germans love their rules. Yeah, I think this is, this is true. Germans love their rules. I think maybe this overlaps a bit with the hardworking, like the, the previous point, hardworking, economical, being organized, you know, having some rules, goes in with that. In my opinion, I kind of, I think it kind of helps the, the flow of life. A very common example is crossing the street and waiting for the Ampel mention to turn green so that you can go. I've never had the experience, but I've heard lots of stories about how some older generation will yell at you. They, they've got signs at most of the lights. I typically, when it's heavy traffic, Crossing the street, I will wait until the light turns green. Mostly, like I, I'm in no position to get into trouble, <laughs> for one. But they've got a lot of signs. Like um, I'm forgetting the words that it says, but it explains that waiting for the light to turn green is a better example for the kids, and that's true. There's nothing wrong with following the rules. Number seven, Germans are always punctual. Yes. I would say you're better off assuming this and you're better off always being early. I think I've talked about that before, but a lot of Germans do not like to wait. They don't want you to be late if you're meeting with them. So being punctual is very important. And I think this, again, this fits in with their hardworking and being organized, like everything needs to be on time. Unless you go to the doctor, then the doctor is still going to be an hour late for their meeting. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Number eight, Germans love their holidays. Yes. And as I pointed out before, they work hard. They like to play hard. It all goes, it all goes together. Like it, it fits. Something I like about the working system here in Germany, they do get a lot of holiday time. I think something like five or six weeks is quite common for the average working German. And so they make the most out of that. Their holiday time is very important. And that's something that I love and respect, like work hard and play hard like that. And then that time, when it's your time, it's your time respect it. So yeah, this is this is a very true cliche, not a bad thing. Don't mess with a German in their Urlaub. Number nine, Germans wear sandals with socks. Uh, I think I've seen this a few times. Maybe that varies a little bit depending on the region. I don't quite understand that. Yeah. Maybe I need, I need to find some examples about that. Is that an age thing? Is that a generation thing? Wearing sandals with socks? Maybe some people just don't like showing their feet, but they want their feet to breathe a little bit more. I don't know, but it is strange. Do as you will. I'm not gonna tell you how to dress, but sandals with socks. I think of hippies. Okay, number 10, let's wrap this list up. Germans like to get naked. 
Um, I think this is a bit of a cliche because of the popularity of the nude places, like the FKK and the popularity of the sauna and everything, sunbathing in the summer. I think now I'm just kind of speculating based on my experience, but I think Germans are more comfortable with their body and their skin and they understand the natural part of it. They don't, they don't get so offended. I think more people should feel comfortable with this. Whether or not, I don't know. I don't know if I can agree. I don't know if I can say yes or no to this cliche. I think that there's probably a large amount of people that do enjoy feeling naked. I, I think it's just that, that openness and the freedom, especially sunbathing. I have not done this. Actually, maybe this ends up being, maybe we get into this in a future episode. <laughs> oh boy. Eric's gonna get naked. To be continued, I don't know, right? but we will have to get into that. Naked sunbathing, a sauna, and an FKK. Three things. Okay, there's a future episode for you. All right. <laughs> All right. I hope you enjoyed that list. Some random things we threw together. Thank you for joining me. Click subscribe. Stay tuned. We got lots more things. Hopefully self-isolation period passes by quickly because I'm really looking forward to getting outside and I've, I've got other ideas and I'll bring you some interesting videos. Thanks again. See you soon. Fire Robin.